Well, I was born in Andalusia, Alabama, which was a small town in South Alabama. And for people here, it's about 80 miles from Destin, Florida. Everybody knows where Destin is. The uh, depression hit our family hard. As I was going through that period of time, although I appreciated it, I didn't appreciate it as much as I realized much later in my life. I went to Auburn. We were the first graduating class of ROTC that didn't get commissions. Usually you got a commission as a second lieutenant. You had to go through OCS. I was in the engineers and there I learned an awful lot about organization, uh, the techniques of using newly developed materials and things like that to advance things such as these special bridges and ponton bridges and all of these sorts of things you can do. Once the Philippines were secured, we were scheduled to go to Japan on the invasion. And fortunately, with the dropping of the atomic bomb and so forth, there was a surrender. So we went right on to Japan on the occupation. I met Ed on a blind date. Well, I, I thought he was just great. I really did. I, I liked him very much. And, and it, we, I just liked all of his family. And we just hit it off, it seemed. Great impression. And she was a wonderful person. And uh, so we dated from that period in 46 until I finished school and uh, finished that degree in industrial management in late 47. Then we married in April of 1948. Just after the war was over, Barclaw was going to embark on a big extension of pipeline and compressor stations. And I was assigned to be one of the team to help design it. I develop a theory of how to improve the piping applications and compressor stations to overcome piping failures and shaking of pipes by designing a filter system into the overall piping. Within a very short time, we got patents on all sorts of, of the equipment, and everybody started designing their systems on it, including places all over the world. had a very good marriage and we always liked to do the same things. We, uh, he grew up, uh, you know, we liked to dance, we liked to play cards, we do church work. Well, my father, he was a great dad. I mean, he was always around. He was always willing to go out and throw the ball if he wanted to. And in fact, he'd kind of drag you out a little bit to do it, but he was always just super supportive in whatever we were interested in. And, but he wasn't very pushy about making us do stuff we didn't want to do. It, it was a real joy because he, you know, was always a big believer in uh, working hard and uh, never giving up and pushing hard and uh, so he always pushed you to do the ma absolute maximum you could do. It was a lot of fun though. We lived close to each other. We had children that had things in common to do and, and uh, they were helpful when I needed them. And, it was nice to be able to know him. I get Ed impressed me more how to start and how to finish things. You know, and he was, he was very good at making sure things got done that needed to get done. And he's, he's a true genius. I mean, just exceptionally smart, very driven, has very strong opinions, uh, and you know, never met a subject he, he wouldn't want to debate about. It's hard not to be around my father without realizing he has a tremendous command of facts and he doesn't speak without researching things first. And uh, you can be pretty sure that if he has a plan to recommend, it'll probably work. He was a very good project manager. Uh, when there was something that to be done to be organized, and particularly when 
could look at it from perhaps an engineering perspective of doing things in order and uh, completely. Uh, he excelled at, at doing those things and following through those things. We taught Sunday school together to young people. He was very good with that. They, he had, Ed had a way of seeing a problem they had and understanding it and doing something about it that they could relate to. He was a good, he was the leader. He had his teachers and we worked hard with it. I, I, th I think his biggest accomplishment is being able to balance uh, exceptional work effort in the church with exceptional work effort in a very large public corporation spanning a career of 40 years uh, and then also being an exceptional family man. He, he's just done so much. You almost have to read about all the accomplishments. <laughs> Ed in particular took part in a number of organizations. He was very active uh, with the opera. Thought uh, quite a bit about doing development for the opera. And so that, I know that was one of his passions in the symphony. To whom much is given, much is required. And you should be giving back and doing all you can to help in every way. And my life has been dedicated to that, I, I hope. I never felt like I had to beg them to do anything for me. They were always, more than likely, they thought of it before I did if I needed something. And they were always so free and happy to be part of things. We always enjoyed doing the same things all the time. We, we still have a very close relationship. We, we enjoy debating big picture issues. We enjoy uh, sporting activities and fishing. Uh, you know, he's one of the few guys I know who's in his late 80s who who still plays tennis, plays golf, and goes marlin fishing with me one week out of every year. And uh, uh, so he's got a real zest for life and a love of family uh, and uh, a very strong public service background uh, that I'm very proud of. He's a wonderful husband. I, I can't think of anything bad things to tell about him right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, I just think he's just been a great person. He's a, he's really a brilliant guy and, uh, you know, just out to help people where he can. So he's been a very great mentor to me. You know, when Ed called me and asked me to, to be one of the people to do this, I told my wife, I said, you know, this is uh, it's a real honor. You know, it's, it's quite a lot when somebody recognizes you for doing things, but it also says a whole lot more when somebody says, hey, would you tell people about me? You know, when you get my age, you forget all, anything that was not good. So I guess I just trying to, I remember all the good things. Right. <laughs>